Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Financial Fitness. I'm your host, Jared Myers, brought to you by the Old Fashioned Health Network. Good health inside and out. It's so good to be back. It is so good to be back. It's been a while since we've been in the studio uh, having to deal with a few implications. But guys, nevertheless, here we are ready to get started and get going with the things that help you become financially fit. So I'm a life hacker. I think a lot of us are, especially being a millennial. We always look into ways of saving money, making money, and advancing and making the most off any product that we can via checking, savings, information and finance, stock markets, so forth and so on. With the holidays right around the corner and a lot of small businesses, as we are well aware of, especially if you've been listening to the podcast, have taken a huge hit. Now, with that being said, again, being a researcher, I always like to figure out ways for companies to kind of come up and do something of the importance of holiday season. What many companies are doing now are offering a chance for those small businesses to be shopped at. And with this website that we're going to tag in the show notes at the end on lifehacker.com, you'll be able to go to it. The requirements are as simple as be over the age of 18, sign up, write a hundred word essay documenting why small businesses are important to U.S., and why you want to impact and save the 1.4, the 2.1 million small jobs that may be closing at the end of 2020. And it's just as simple as that. So instead of helping those companies that are making record profit numbers, Amazon, Target, Walmart, you name it, it's all over the news and we see it. Those are small businesses that we still need to rely on and help. Now, another thing with this $1,000, there is a catch. You can't spend it on Amazon. It's that sad. But it can't even be a third-party retailer. But you get to go to actual small businesses that have just as much makeup and impact your city and impact your communities. And that's what it's really all about because that's what drives America and that's what drives the fun standing holding that we call small businesses. Now, diving off into our topic. As the income equality changes going into the holiday season, this could predict a K-shaped type recovery. So while you'll see some people's income who's been impacted by this year may have stayed the same, changed, or fell, you're also going to see some people's income who may have struggled uh, to get past this year and what they're going to need to do to get towards the end of this year. Most programs like Toys for Tots, Salvation Army, Salvation Army especially, um, increase their donation drives. They're up actually 155% in donations year to date ever since COVID. Toys for Tots and some of the other programs have created have created donation drives to help with this holiday season. With this article that I read in the Atlanta Journal Constitute, um, it really impacts again on that K shape. Recovery. Once that K-shaped recovery mean what that K-shaped recovery means, the people who were able to stay home, keep their regular jobs, keep their regular pay, one in four potentially did not or will not struggle or have any changes in their finances heading in, during, or going towards the end of this year. Now, those people that are at the end that struggled a little bit, these programs are going to come in to help you get ready for the holiday shopping. Um, And one part of the article, it does state that a young lady, she's going back to a homeless shelter that she's relied on before and countless times, but this time she'll need a little bit more help from them than normal. I think that's something that we really should pay to pay attention to as Americans, because we have all been impacted, not just one, not just several, each and every one of us. Focus on the small businesses that are in your communities. Ask what you can do. Get out, knock on doors, and make a change to help and impact the communities around you. 1.4 to 2.1 million businesses could be lost in 2021. And if we want those same high retailers, yes, the convenience, yes, the amazing deals, yes, it's great. But what about the boutiques that are uh, still up and coming? What about the other opportunities where people who are gathered around that work each and every day, hard like yours, to make their company, who couldn't survive four months of COVID, what are they going to do? They have real employees. They have real opportunities. They have real life problems that they deal with. So make sure this holiday season, before you click the Amazon, buy it in your card immediately, look at some of those small businesses, spend that $1,000 in the article that we talked about, and hey, Maybe this year could be a little bit more about giving and really making an impact that's going to be financially fit to not just you, 
your community, your family, and your friends. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to the Old Fashioned Health Network. We are back live, and we'll see y'all next time. I'm having too much fun with this soundboard. Take care.